roadblocks to organizing the talks remain. So what was Mr. Tabe's response? Journalist Kilian Ingala is in Yaounde. Ayok Tabe actually came up with a list of preconditions uh, for dialogue to ever take place. He's talking about a full ceasefire. He's talking about the release of prisoners detained over the conflict two years ago. He's talking about the withdrawal of government troops and administrators from the English-speaking regions of the country. And he's talking about a peace process, Paul, that should be brokered by the United Nations. And he is also uh, insisting that uh, the dialogue venue should not be in Cameroon. It should be either in New York, in Addis Ababa, or in Geneva. And he is insisting that the feeding parties should have an equal number of delegates whenever they come to meet. But the really sticky point here, Paul, is that the negotiations, according to Ayuk Tabe, have to deal with negotiating the terms of separation of the English-speaking part of Cameroon from the rest of the country. He is not talking about a peace process that will keep Cameroon one and indivisible, like the government has been saying. That's quite a tall order. Has the government responded yet? Earlier as yesterday, the, the Cameroon uh, External Relations Minister, Lejeune Belambela, actually responded and indicated that the government can only accept dialogue that keeps Cameroon as one country. He's just re-echoing what has been going on in government circles. The other day, the, the Prime Minister, Dr. Dion Gote joseph was in the two English-speaking parts of the country where he, he insisted that separation is not an option on the table for dialogue. It is not something the government is even considering. Uh, He said any other thing can be discussed, and which observers have uh, remarked that that is a smart departure from the earlier posturing of the government because President Paul Bia had made it known that there can be no discussion about the form of the state. It looks like the government's back is against the war that they've gone for dialogue now at this time. Yes, initially the government said they were not even going to dialogue with people they called terrorists. Remember, when this crisis started, the English speakers were insisting that there should be a return to the federal system of government that Cameroon was involved in from 1961 when they got independence to 1972. The government said there is no room for even talking about federalism. Now it looks like the government might be shifting ground when you look at what the prime minister was saying, that the only thing that's off the table is talking about separation. But again, the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paula Tanganji, has contradicted the Prime Minister uh, when he granted an interview on a foreign uh, radio station saying that there is no way uh, government will talk about the form of the state. So it it's, it's look, looks to me like a, a sort of impasse here. Journalist Kilian Ngala in Yaoundé. Time to meet a multi-talented performer. She's Nigerian-Canadian. She's Falana.